Study, mammograms do not reduce breast cancer deaths. Yearly mammograms in middle-aged women do not reduce breast cancer deaths. These tests are essentially as good as physical examinations alone, according to a new 25-year study from Canada. Canada. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. The study, which included nearly 90,000 women, that is way above what you need as a sample. A sample only requires 10,000. This is a 90,000 uh, women ages 40 to 59 is the latest to question the value of routine mammographies. The researchers found the same number of women died of breast cancer over 25 years regardless of whether they underwent yearly mammograms or not. Mammography is performed routinely to screen women for breast cancer with the goal of early diagnosis, but it is highly debated whether this screening saves lives. In some cases, early detection does not necessarily mean the cancer can be cured. In, in some others, treatments work even if cancer is discovered at later stages. It is also controversial whether the potential benefits of mammograms outweigh the harm done by overdiagnosis and overtreatment. The new study found that about 22% of breast cancers detected by mammograms were what researchers called overdiagnosed, meaning the mammograms revealed tumors that didn't cause disease symptoms and would not have reduced a woman's lifespan if left undetected. The new findings suggest that the rationale for screening by mammography should be urgently reassessed by policymakers. The researchers wrote in their study published February 11th in the British Medical Journal, BMJ. The majority of breast cancers are detectable by mammography, but whether or not this is beneficial has now become very controversial, said study researcher Dr. Anthony Miller, professor emeritus at the University of Toronto. The studies that had suggested the likely role of screening in reduced breast cancer deaths were performed before modern treatments became available, Miller said. If you're able to cure cancers by treatment, no matter what stage they're at, there isn't any role for screening. So, as the treatment improves, the contribution of screening gets less and less. Still, it is important for women who are suspicious about something in their breast, a possible lump or distortion, to consult with a doctor. That is a time when mammography could indeed be a very informative as a diagnostic tool, Miller said. In an in, uh, accompanying editorial by Dr. Matt Callagher, a breast cancer surgeon and a former head of Norwegian breast cancer screening wrote that the study's findings do not support screening women under age 60. However, changing the policies may not be an easy task because governments research funders and physicians may have vested interests, she said. The breast cancer screening guidelines differ among countries and even organizations. The U.S. Preventative Service Task Force advised women ages 50 to 74 to get mammograms every two years, while the American Cancer Society recommended yearly screening starting at age 40. In the study, half of the women had yearly mammograms along with yearly physical breast examination for five years. The other half received only physical examinations and usual care. After 20 years, 3,250 women in the mammography group and 3,133 in the control group had been diagnosed with breast cancer. 500 women in the mammography group and 505 women in the control group had died of breast cancer. The results also suggest that one of every 425 women 424 women who underwent mammographies, mammograms in the study was falsely diagnosed as having breast cancer, according to the study. The study included only women under 60 years old, but it is also possible that the findings would apply to older women as well, Miller said. Well, there you have it. I, I believe that mammograms and the suggestion that you go every year and get a mammogram outside of getting a physical is just a ploy to get money that's all it is and the guy and the doctor said 
that the whole procedure of the mammography was developed before modern technology existed. So the suggestion that this old or dated procedure needs to be kept being done smacks of nothing but a conspiracy to bilk you out of your money. There, the early diagnosis obviously doesn't do anything. If, if the result is you're going to wind up with the same treatment, which probably is going to in include chemotherapy, which you should never do. I don't, I, I don't, you can sue me all you want to. You can never do chemotherapy. Never. Look for every possible alternative to chemotherapy. It destroys the human body in total. There is no specific thing that it destroys. It destroys the human body in total. I think it is my responsibility and duty to tell you to not do chemotherapy. There are some people who have success, but I believe those people would have had success anyway. To combat or fight against chemotherapy, the body has to have such fortitude that the human body really normally doesn't have. Now, there are rare people on this planet who have such fortitude. Those are rare people. Cancer is not as widespread as you can see. Cancer is not as widespread. Out of 90,000 women, 6,000 were diagnosed with cancer, true or false. And of those 6,000, 400 were misdiagnosed completely. So there you have it. That's the information about the mammogram study being not necessary from a study. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.